I turned 38, bought myself a motorcycle. This is, I think, bike number like nine in my life. Hadn't been riding for a long time. I think I stopped for about five years and then I'm back in a position where I'll start riding some more. Um, I chose the Scrambler, sorry, Scrambler 1200. I went with the XC specifically. Uh, why did I do the XE? Um, it has cruise control. And um, oh, there's a couple other things. Uh, the dashboard here has a little bit better, uh, I guess, user interface, some other things. But more or less, it was for the, um, it was for that, the cruise control. And having owned quite a few motorcycles, I really do enjoy uh, being able to take that right hand off the throttle when you're cruising down the interstate. But anyways, um, for those who are uh, short kings like me, I'm 5'8", and this bike is freaking tall. Yeah, this bike is, I believe, 34 and a quarter inches uh, seat height. My inseam is 32 inches, and that's on a uh, you know, good day, I guess, if there's such thing. And... Um, you can see that I have to tiptoe around. Uh, it's doable. Um, is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Will I live with it? Yes, I will. Really enjoy this bike so far. Um, and you'll see that you know you have the ability to uh, do the dirt bike. You know, one foot down, one foot up. Um, I think any taller than this, though, being that it's 500 pound bike, it would be excessive. So I think I'm right on the precipice of the bike is too tall. So just something to consider if you're in the market for the XE. The regular Scrambler X is a little bit shorter and I test rode one of those and I could flat foot it. But I again, I wanted the, uh, the cruise control and um, I guess that was kind of a bummer that that's not offered with the X, but whatever, live with it. So right now, when I dismount, I uh, do that kickstand down, and I'll stand on the pegs and throw over. Eventually, I'm probably going to put some bags on this thing. Uh, so that might mess with my leg toss, but quick look at the dashboard here. I can change some of that stuff around. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube about it. The exhaust sounds louder on this video than it is in real life. Um, this video gives it too much credit. It's pretty soft, and I can't wait to change it gonna do the uh, slash cuts another video to follow on that currently I'm in the break-in process for the engine can't go above 4,000 rpms or sustain rpms for very long so uh, I'm just putting miles on best I can it's starting to get super cold at night um, but such is life I live in Montana our riding season's about two months as is, so just kind of learn to dress for it and deal with it. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in.